So here we go. Final chance for Israel to play. They've been eliminated. They will not be advancing to the quarterfinals. Venezuela has just been oh so good. And even though they've already clinched that top spot from Pool D, we see most of their top players are in the lineup here this morning. Three and two to Altuve. Ball four. That is just off the outside. Good take from Altuve to draw the lead off one. He looked like a guy who might be able to help Milwaukee at some point. Another hit for Santander. Gosh, what a tournament he is having. So two on, nobody out. Venezuela trying to jump ahead early here. On the ground is short. Could be a double play. There's one. The throw to first. Got him double play. Two down runner at third. The double play ball helping give Robert Stock a chance to get through this first inning. And Ronald Acuna Jr. just one for 11. We're good. Base hit right field. And that'll knock in the first run of the game. So Acuna flips one into right. It's one nothing. Venezuela. Well, they're not good hitters are going to find their stroke, and good hitters just find a way to get it done. So a run across for Venezuela, their second hit. They've also had a walk and a hit batter in this first inning. Andres Jimenez, left-handed hitter. We'll count here three and two. Acuna runs, oh, and it's ball four. Just a little bit high. Another walk. You gotta slow him down here. You gotta, you gotta take a mound visit. I mean, this has become kind of a snowball here for Stock. Alejandro Suarez yesterday had just some excellent at bats. Line drive right field. A base hit for Suarez. Dickerson cuts it off. That's not going to matter. Perez scores. Acuna right behind him. Three nothing Venezuela. Well, we've seen in this inning Santander. We've seen Acuna, and now we're seeing Suarez using the whole field. Good hitters in scoring and runners in scoring position. Oh, they feast off of that. I give Stock some credit for never giving in. Now he's got to deal with this guy who just is swinging the bat so well. Another hit today. Ooh. Pops that one up. Foul, third base side, and along the netting, the room to make the catch. Nice play, Medlinger. Very good play. Santander makes it out. That's news when that happens. Good play by the third baseman for Israel. Vela, three run first inning, and that has held up. It's Jake Fishman. He is the final pitcher from Israel to appear in a game of this World Baseball Classic. On one hop to second. He's funky. He is. Geloff throws him out. <laughs> Struck out to Eugenio Suarez who's been having one good at bat after another. They, why, why did they save this guy for last? I don't know. He pitched for Union College. That's D3. Division 3. That's a cool story. That's a really cool story. Hey, you got cleats on. You got an opportunity. Uh-oh. Hammers that one to left center field. And it is gone! Up over the left center field wall. Well, he had his arepas today. Wasn't scared of that, that pitch. He saw it in his light. His eyes just lit up. Well, they love him. They absolutely love him. Matt Murphys for Israel. First pitch swing, a slow roller toward the middle. Luis Arise, welcome to the game. Murphys was very unhappy. Been a tough tournament for a couple of the really highly regarded young hitters for Israel. Although now, first pitch, Suarez to second one, and a return by Jimenez to first double play. Now that was a fast inning. Nice job today by Jesus Luzardo. He was impressive. He's always been touted. He's always had a lot of talent. He's a member of the Miami Marlins. This is his home ballpark. Something clicked. Yeah, something clicked. I mean, look at Luzardo's numbers right there. Eugenio Suarez leading off for Venezuela. They're advancing. In fact, they've already locked up the top speed. Suarez cranks one deep left center field. Gone. <laughs> Play. Mr. Eugenio Suarez. Good swings all day. We've seen two balls hit to that left center gap. That's probably the farthest part of this field. And so far, Team Venezuela is making this field look tiny. As soon as it left the bat. 
Tell you what, the, the MVP race in this pool was already complicated enough. I think we got another candidate. <laughs> Eugenio Suarez, he leads Venezuela with six runs batted in. Venezuela just counting down the outs now till they will play in the quarterfinals. They've already clinched the top spot. On the ground and a fair ball behind first Suarez. De Jesus didn't get there. Too late. Well, Mendlinger hustling. And he's going to get himself a hit. See Suarez right there making the catch, doing everything possible. Good running feet on him. I think De Jesus just chopped up his steps a little bit too much there. Oh, there we go. That's what happened. Kind of was going a little. High fast on it. Well, he beat it all the way. He did. A nice hustle there. Good job. That's a base hit. Two out knock for Milanski. He's had, he's had three good at bats today in that number nine spot in the order. You got Jacob Goldfarb coming up here, left on left, but a guy's got a little power. That one's lined out into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. Coming around third is Bendlinger. He will score now. Goldfarb's got to scramble to get back. He does, and Israel's got themselves a run. Oh, there's that run right there. All started with an infield single. And a tough day for Spencer Horwitz. Oh, it's certainly a uh, nice hole on the right side. Got it with the fastball. Israel gets a run. De Jesus limits the damage. So, uh oh. You hit a home run, and then. <laughs> uh, run song. That's the cat. Heads up. <laughs> All right, it's a real thing. Hang it. I got out to move it right there. Peralta, Alvarado. You know, the soul of where these guys are from. That, that's what it's all about. That's coming out right there. New pitcher, and perhaps the final pitcher of the day for Venezuela, Darwinson Hernandez, left hander. Venezuela's already into the quarterfinal round. They have already locked up the top spot here in Pool D. Just trying to finish off another win and they go 4 0 and sweep through what was almost unanimously considered the toughest pool in this World Baseball Classic. It's out of the center field. Acuna going back. He'll square up. Acuna makes a catch. Very, very impressive. Venezuela. We didn't know if it was really going to be possible to go four games without a loss with this group of teams. They go 4 0 and did it with some style. Well, 10 hits on five runs, just one run for Team Israel. Well, Team Venezuela, three runs in that first inning. And after that, they were never looking back. They were electric today.